And now for something completely different. It's Eddie back with another review, this time with uh, Star Trek 6-inch collection Old Spock. Um, I just got back from Target, so th I picked this baby up and the sick Iron Man tee. Oh yeah, I got it for three bucks. Got like all the armors. Anyways, we're not here about Iron Man, we're here about Spock. Um, so, they didn't really have many characters at my local Target. I was going to pick up uh, Young Spock or Kurt or whoever, but uh, I got Old Spock because he's still pretty cool. Um, and I'm going to go over the packaging real quick because I go over packaging if I especially love a packaging. And this one, I love. So as you can see, the basic shape of the box is like a Starfleet logo, which they also have here. That's what every member of Starfleet wears, obviously. It says, uh, bonus black figure stand, fully articulated and posable, warp collection, original Spock, includes interchangeable Vulcan salute hand, which is cool, and it says Star Trek, and then, you know, there's that stuff. On the back, it says Star Trek, and I, I gotta read the description, because it's awesome. Space. <laughs> For ongoing mission, to explore strange new worlds. To seek out new life forms and new civilizations. To boldly go where no man has gone before. So here he is out of the box. And I did already open the box. So that's why it's all messed up. Anyways. It's a great figure. I really, really do love it. Um, they put a lot of work into it. There's only a couple minor, minor complaints I have. And one of them really doesn't even matter. But anyways... Um, so first I'm going to go over the detail, which is really cool. The head looks just like Leonard Nimoy from the from the movie. He has, uh, oh, just black eyes, but he has the Vulcan eyebrows, the pointy ears, gray hair, because he is old, and, like, wrinkles and stuff throughout, gold, and then, um, he is wearing an ambassador's outfit, because he, if... I know you've all probably seen the movie, so I'm not really going to explain it too much, but basically, he's not in the uniform because he never is in the movie. He's from the future because he's an ambassador in the future. But the robe is really nice. Um, wrinkle, you know, they put wrinkles in it. But what I really like is it's rubber, which I think is a great touch. So you can, when you're uh, posing it, it makes it look more realistic. And But the arms aren't, and... Uh, they look nice too, though. What I really like is they have a uh, Vulcan salute hand, and then it also comes with another hand, which I'll show later, and then just a regular hand. But they really, it doesn't really show up on here, but they put so much detail into the hand, it's great. A lot of wrinkles and stuff. Then just regular pants and gray shoes. So, you know, it's, it's really, really nice detail, I think. Um, articulation wise, it's pretty good. Um, the head can rotate 360 degrees. Arms can go in and out, as well as rotate 360 degrees. Here at the sh uh, elbow, it rotates, oh, rotates 360 degrees and bends, and it rotates at the hand. Same with the other arm. The waist rotates 360 degrees, and then, um, oh, um, but if you're like trying to like move it with the rope so that it's not going to happen because it's because it's uh, rubber so you just got to move the rope with it which is okay it's kind of a complaint but not really um it would be nice if i don't know there's no really, really way of changing that so it's okay but anyways then they also have uh, leg articulation this is my main complaint it's basically nothing all it does is go uh forward doesn't go back and it bends at the knee that's it and I, it's understandable for the old spot because he doesn't really need to be jumping to different places or running anywhere. But it's just, it would have been nice to have a little more leg articulation. Um, the, accessories that come, the accessories it comes with isn't much. That's kind of another minor complaint. But then again, he also doesn't really need a phaser and communicator and all that. 
But um, all comes with is a base, a black base, which I'll show off later, and an interchangeable hand. And so it, it does, it changes with the Vulcan Salute hand. So you just pull this hand out, so I'm kind of a little ball joint. And <coughs> this is my fraction, my first time switching them, but and you just push this one in. And then he's just got regular hands. I like him better with his Vulcan Salute hand, so I'm going to put it back on there. But, um, and then he comes with his stand. It's actually, it's not like the other ones. It's black with a Starfleet logo on it. Most of them are actually gold in the shape of a Starfleet logo. So then you peg it into the hole on the bottom of the right foot, and then you got him ready for display. So, it would be illogical not to pick up this figure. Um, I definitely give it a solid, very solid 9 out of 10. Um, definitely pick it up. Any Star Trek fan has to. It would be smarter if you're just not, if you're just kind of a fan, to pick up the solid characters before you pick somebody like this up. Again, only reason I put this one up is because I didn't have the other ones. But, uh, stay tuned for more reviews. Um, I'll have more Transformers and special stop motions I'm working on a video for Century Production. So Century, just hang in there. I'll have it up there in a couple days. This is Eddie signing out.